and they approach the VP Racing Fuels making power zone off a of corner number four. Tyler Bruning, Dennis Herb Jr. Lead us to green here at US 36 Raceway. The return of the outlaws in 13 years coming to green. 40 times around here tonight. Bruning to the lead. Herb washes up the racetrack. He's in second, but Young Hands comes after him. They battle side by side through turn three and four. Lap number one's going to be Tyler Bruning, who's second at the line. Dennis Herb Jr. Yeah, over Chase Young Hands, Mike Marler, Tanner English side by side there with Ryan Gustin. Those two going at it. Battle for second, heating up. Young Hands gets around the 28 of Dennis Herb Jr. There you see on Dirt Vision. Wow, what a run by Young Hands on the bottom off a of corner number four. Now Dennis going to cross him over. He'll take second down the front straight away. How about that move by Dennis Herb Jr., the crosser? Oh, hang on as Herb almost went around. He saves it. Clawson out of this one, still having mechanical issues. Meanwhile, Tanner English up to fourth. Marler back to fifth is out front. Tyler Bruning on the prowl. Three on the board. He's got half a straightaway advantage. Yeah, when Dennis went a little sideways there, Marler shot up the racetrack, and Marler lost the position there, but the battle for second, Stellar. Here comes Herb on the bottom. Young hands on the outside. Off a of corner number four. It's still Tyler Bruning showing the way. And Bruning getting around the 15 car here on the bottom. Chase going to go up high, down the back straightaway. Young hands has the outside open. Dennis Herb back to his inside battle for second. What a dynamite battle we have here for the podium spots. Tanner English follows with now Gustin and Marler side by side. Battle for the lead. Bruning to the inside of Young hands. Now it's a new leader. You got Chase Young hands out in front at lap eight as they come by. Now Bruning trying to battle back. They're right behind. They're working on the 23 car of Chad Walter, but it's it's uh, Chase Younghands going for his second win in three nights as now Bruning is on pursuit. And we work lap number 17 with Chase Younghands having a 2.1 second advantage. Yeah, Mike Marler, remember Fox Factory Hard Charger at Humboldt had a good run last night until mechanical issues sidelined him from the rest of the feature. And right now Marler doing a solid job trying to reel in Dennis Urban. The caution is out around the speedway. We got Tanner English off the pace. Oh, we man. talk about the rookie of the year battle. And oh, no, the mechanical issues still battling. Oh, and with Max, the 81 and team. Max Blair sits in sixth right now. We'll see. Looks like Tanner's going to duck into the hot pit. Upper corner number four. Back to green flag action. Chase Younghands leads us in 18. Younghands takes off as he gets a big run through the corner. Meanwhile, Marler goes from fourth to third, and now he tries to go to second as he goes to work on Bruning. Mike Marler to the inside of Tyler Bruning side by side for second. Tracks get choppy down there in three and four again. Out front, though, it's all Younghands. Yeah, Young Hands looking good, running around that middle, the top groove. Bruning running that bottom groove. We'll see if the 16th could close in on him. Now Mike Marler up to third, the 157 on the move. Yeah, he's on the prowl, and he's found something in one and two. And in three and four, he can get through those holes moving up the racetrack. He goes way up high in one and two, gets a big run down the back straightaway, making that back straightaway longer because he exits so high out of two. Through three and four is where he's making hay, though. If he can figure out one and two, Marler might be a factor in the outcome of this race. And Mike Marler gets such a good run in three and four. It's like he shot out of a cannon in the exit of turn number four. Man, he is so good off of quarter number four. Notice that he closed in on Bruning so quickly but couldn't make the pass. Now he's going to go a groove higher here in three and four. And off of turn number four, look at that move by Marler, well, he'll pull alongside yeah. him, and he's going to take second away. Well, you saw him last time in one and two. He went in low, and he, he didn't lose as much ground to Bruning. That time, he slides up in front of Bruning. Marler to the inside of Young Hands. They go door to door just for a blink of an eye. Young Hands drives away. Well, Marler cut his lead in half the last lap, and now they're in heavy lap traffic. Hang on, Dustin Walker sideways. Where do you go if you're the leader as Billy? No, that's going to be Caden Platt slows down the front straight away. He'll get to the infield. We stay green, and they're side by side for the lead through lap traffic. Down the back straight away. Young Hands going to go three wide <laughs> with Marler and the lap car. Dustin and Walker and manages to keep the lead. What a move down the front straightaway. Mike Marler still looking at the 18th bumper. And now Bruning trying to join that battle. Oh, hang on, lap car up the speedway. New leader, Mike Marler, as we work out a two lap 26. He goes around young hands. Ruben, two laps to go. Yeah, two to go for Mike Marler in the 157. As Chase Younghands hangs on to second down the back straightaway. He needed this one, Ben, as he will come around. This is going to be the Barrett's one to go at US 36 Raceway. What a weekend it's been. Rick Eshelman would have loved all three nights. It's been a good one. Last time we were here, an outlaw champion picked up the win. 2007 champion Steve Francis. We return for the second visit, and another outlaw champion is going to win. Mike Marler wins at US 36 Raceway. Yeah. Number 157. How about it, race fans, for Mike Marler? Oh, man, the car was really good all night long, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, I ran out of tear offs early, so we needed that caution. I got my helmet all cleaned up where I could see where I was going, and after that, I, had, I could really truck. So uh, uh, just a fun night of racing, you know. I uh, got to give a big thanks to my crew today. We uh, had to do a lot of work from last night, barely made it out for hot laps, and uh, 
couldn't do it without key people. You found this line in three and four that absolutely no one was able to find launching you off of four. When did you find that? Because I definitely felt like that was a key factor here tonight. Well, you know, Mark Dodson called me before the race there, and he told me, he said, that's the kind of line you got to have here to be really good. So he clued me in on it, and, and then uh, I was able to, you know, use it there to end really well. So uh, thanks, you can thank him for that one. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.